little bit of swing for Saudi first up. That is quite spectacular. Second push here to Rizwan. That's the area of strength. The length is just a little bit too full from Saudi. The line's a little bit straighter. And that's just a simple pick up. He's so strong through that area. It was nonch. Now he gets you through the offside. And it is a rocket fast outfield here at Hagley Oval. Swing, but that's, that's been caused by the ball before. Doesn't want to get onto the pads. Off his width, and Rizwan is still a good enough player to hit width that's over pitched through the offside. What that means is you've got to use them up front, and they'll want to bowl a bit better than that. Turning from paternity leave. He won't be showing his child that one in years to come. That's a half tracker on leg stump. That's a, that's a ball from a man who hasn't played for him. Flick to on the onside again. That's very attractive stroke play. That no movement. Touch full on length. So strong there. Both Rizwan. I wonder how it's lying. Yeah, it was only a matter of time, but he's hit it straight up in the air. This is not an easy catch out of the deep blue, and it's taken and made to look very, very... And the long on was brought into the circle. He was there enticing that shot, come down the ground, and he knew it instantly. Still had some work to do, Jimmy Nishin, in the big blue Scotland catch. So he gets that extra bounce. Length is... Straying slightly down leg side again, and that one goes all the way to the and whipped away for another boundary. Yeah, that's the wrong line, and wrong length to Bavarazam. This is the second time he's uh, got that delivery on the leg side, and uh, the timing was superb. He's got back that run rate, and the wicket that one's come off a glove, and it's flown away. For Pakistan will definitely enjoy this pitch. This is drying pitch, no real bounce, no real pace. They're so used to this sort of pace. Another uh, wrong length. Catch it. Nothing false about that, or is it? Oh, diving chance just put down by Mark Chapman, but it was a good effort. Covered a lot of ground. He'll be disappointed that taking those kinds of catches, Mark Chapman. I honestly lost count on how many catches been dropped in the last uh, three, four days. This one... Backing away, cracking that all the way, and struggling for length. Well, it doesn't matter how good a spinner you are, when you haven't played enough cricket, when you haven't bowled enough, for a bowler to bowl quickly. Masu down the ground, might not have enough, and doesn't, taken by Bracewell. So 86 kilometers an hour. And uh, Sean Masu saw it early, extra bounce, Sentner stall, and an easy catch. Very, very easy catch. Sodi gives that some flight, and uh, it's crunched away. Pakistan play him sometime down the order, sometime up the order. He's a floater. And uh, this time, just giving himself a touch room and spanking. Catch it. Goes after Santa, another opportunity, gone. Just like that. To up the ante, and the left armor once again getting him. Another very, very easy catch there in the deep. Nice piece of bowling from Sodi. It was full enough. Thorny could get underneath it. And it's the 50th T20 catch for Tim Southey, great pair of hands, whether it's in the infield or the out. The skipper, Glenn Phillips, into the attack. Oh, there's a little bit of drift, nicely played. Just use the pace and the width he got. That will run away for much needed boundary. For Pakistan to get on top, potentially of the part-time bowler. Really good timing, played the ball behind him, so he's able to use his hands to access. Oh, that's wide. Hammered through cover for four. Poor delivery to finish the end of the 15th. 
That'll help. You like that. The edges that don't go to hand. There for uh, Asif Ali to just free his arms. A little scratchy, but he'll take that. Pakistan struggling for runs. They need big overs, a couple of uh, really big overs to get to a decent total. That's crafty. That is some really clever fashion. 11 of the overs so far, still two deliveries to go. This might just give that momentum which Pakistan's looking for. Very nicely played, sat back in the crease and just allowed the ball come to come really close to him. Yes, that's not out, that's not it. Oh, oh I'd call for a shot like that. And how smartly balled him, Saudi. Saw him very early. That he's gonna play that uh, sweep shot and ball that slower short third man. He scooped it straight to him. Another wicket gone in the 20th. A real struggle. Gone. Now this looks a little better. No, just like everything, it's caught 10 yards in. Four, and they're losing wickets left, right, center. Another slow delivery. Mohammad Nawaz wanted to go big and once again miscuing it by Guptul. Nice full and straight one again from Tim Saudi. Another single down the ground. That'll do it for Pakistan.